In 2015, an earthquake in Nepal killed nearly 9,000 people and left nearly 800,000 homeless. More than two years later, entire villages are still without formal homes. The government promised grants of 300,000 rupees to anyone whose home was destroyed. Here's how it's supposed to work. A farmer, we'll call him Kamal, gets the first grant installment of 50,000 rupees to build his foundation. A technician confirms that the foundation is built and approves an installment of 150,000 rupees. Kamal continues building, leaving only the roof and finishing work. He receives the final installment of 100,000 rupees to finish the job. But for most who lost their homes, reality is much different. Applicants must prove that they owned their homes before the earthquake. But in Nepal, many homes are shared by extended families. The grant process expects a single recipient to make decisions. Many homeowners work abroad and can't return to formally apply for the grants. Meanwhile, most Nepalese say the grant is a fraction of what's needed to build a home. Some use the first installment to feed their families or pay off debts. To date, fewer than 1% of eligible grant recipients have received all 300,000 rupees. Those are just a few of the reasons why hundreds of thousands of Nepalese families are still homeless. Without a major overhaul of Nepal's rebuilding process, that won't change anytime soon.